Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are using real-time posting, when you click the Save button within a transaction window, the transaction is instantly posted to the appropriate journals and then to the general ledger. Most companies use this method. However, if you are using the batch posting method, you must post all of your transactions before you print certain reports, change accounting periods, or close the fiscal year. Before you post your transactions, you must save all of your transactions first. Also, if you're using Sage 50 in a network environment, you must have all the users except yourself exit the Sage 50 company file before you can post the transactions. To post the transactions, select Task from the menu bar, scroll all the way down to the System command, and from the side menu that appears, choose the Post command. This will bring up the Post window. Here you check all of the journals that you want to post the transactions from by clicking them in order to put a check mark in front of the name of the journal. Once you've made your selections, click the OK button to post the information from the selected journals to the general ledger. If you need to edit a batch of journal entries that have already been posted to the general ledger, then you can unpost them. This will remove all transactions from the general ledger from the current accounting period forward. To unpost transactions, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the System command, and then choose the Unpost command. This will bring up the Unpost window, and here you can check all of the journals that you want to unpost transactions from by clicking them to put a check mark in front of the name of the particular journal. Then simply click the OK button to unpost information back to all of the selected journals from the general ledger. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.